hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i will be bringing you this mauve pinkish cut crease look it's so cute like oh my gosh and then the hat this wig is doing whatever it wants because it's like one of those wigs where you can like go like that flip it in or go like that flip it out please ignore it um but if you want to see how to get this look please keep watching welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2021 i took a little break because doing the christmas uh 12 days of christmas videos was a little stressful so i was like you know what i'm gonna take a break for myself i've been working on myself i manifested uh praying working and journaling and just trying to help with my headspace because i overthink and that's just i can't help that but um yeah so today is just i'm just here doing a video so let's get right into it um i have michael jackson playing in the background so some parts of the video will be silent just so we can get copyrighted and all that stuff because i listening to music while doing my makeup is therapy so yeah i'm gonna try to do another cut crease because in the last video i uploaded the christmas video and also um i couldn't upload day 12 i did 12 days of candy for christmas instead of 12 days of christmas 12 days of candy i couldn't upload uh video 12 because of the bombing that happened downtown here in tennessee so that knocked out wi-fi and my phone would not act right for anything so i literally couldn't upload it so that's why video 12 never went up so i can't really do anything about that but we're just gonna get started and i'm gonna just prep my eyes for eyeshadow with the la girl pro concealer in the color creamy beige okay so guys when i say that i've literally been praying and manifesting it's just like i've been praying for like my dreams and what i want because one of my dreams I feel like it's self-sabotage talking about what you pray about and what you manifest but a lot of people already know this uh, one of my dreams is to be a youtuber not for the fame and um not for the money but not for the money but i feel like like i personally genuinely deep down i feel like i have the potential for it the characteristics the personality i feel like in a way I can help people like, I can help people laugh if they having um, if they're not having a good day I feel like I can just help people and like guide them in the right direction I don't know like I honestly feel like I have the potential for that and that is what I want to strive for I'm not in it for the fame and all that stuff like I don't know it's kind of like in high school a lot of people was like oh you're popular you're no no I'm not popular just because a lot of people knew my name. They knew my name, they didn't know me. And I never, personally, I never see myself as a popular type or the famous type. It's just like, a lot of people didn't like me. Uh, my name was known because a lot of people didn't like me. So like, I don't know. Take the Sweet Peach palette. Y'all already know what colors I'm going in with. So it's the same two colors. I will be cleaning my brushes soon, okay? In 2021, we ain't taking no crap. We're focusing on ourselves. We are getting our money up. We are praying. We are manifesting. Okay. We are not dwelling on the past. It's okay to look back because I look back. And sometimes I cry. But that's okay because your past is the reason why you are where you are today. And your past is the reason for your future. I'm going to go in with the same concealer I just put my eyes with and I'm going to try to create the cut crease. So let's just hope uh, I can do as good as I did in the last video I uploaded. If you haven't seen that video, it'll be linked below where I did the Christmas look. It was oh my God, one of my favorite Christmas, um, Christmas, one of my favorite makeup looks ever because that was 
Well, it was my second time doing a cut crease because, like I said, I really don't. I would try to practice in the past and I could never get it. But it's literally, it just takes time. So. Okay, I think I'm gonna go on with the Tarte Lip Palette. I literally use the same palettes because I have so much makeup that I don't need to buy anymore. So I'm trying to use what I have. So um, this has some pretty pinkish tones, if you can see. So I'm gonna go on with one of these. And you know what, I think I'm gonna go on with Caregiver, which is this like, you can't really tell because the um, ring light is so bright, but it's like a, a light off pink color. So I think I'm gonna go on with that. And then I'm also going to mix in some of the color Free Spirit, which is also hard to see. So I'm going to see if I can, like, put it right here. That's Free Spirit. And then the second color, this is Caregiver. So can you kind of see the pink, the light pink? So I'm going to mix the two of those and put that um, as my eyelid. And I'm going to also take Natural Beauty. Why not? Just blend all three. And this is Natural Beauty. I feel like you'll give me that mauve tone look that I'm looking for. I said natural look, but that was a lie. Double-ended brush. I'm going to use this side to do my colors. Just chop that and just go and pat it on. kind of hard to see the colors on camera just because they're so like pastel -y. and the ring light is so bright because I have it at this high setting so I'm sorry about that the Tartlet palette and I'm going to take the colors puree and summer yum you already know just to blend out I thought I should have been oh, that's okay just to kind of blend this out again I'm gonna take this angled brush and I'm gonna take this Tarlet palette again. I'm gonna use the color Fashionista, which is this um, black shade. And I'm gonna try to outline the cut crease. If you hear that, that's the, um, that's either the washer or dryer. They may not be perfect, but uh, let's just, I'm just gonna continue to go with it, okay? See where it goes, cause I'm not the best. I got cut creases, I already established that, but that doesn't mean I just wanna give up, okay? So I'm gonna take this kind of like somewhat tapered brush, elf, and I'm gonna go in with the peach palette again, but I'm gonna take the color um, Charmed, I'm sure, which is like a chocolate brown. And I'm going to help blend out that, um, the black eyeshadow I just did to outline the cut crease. Take a makeup wipe and just any fallout. Okay, so I wiped my face with a makeup wipe. I went ahead and did mascara, and I'm gonna take this um, Cetaphil uh, um, uh, lotion. <laughs> it just like came out all over my hands, and uh, I'm gonna use that to prep my skin because I have yet to buy primer. It might be too much, but that's okay. My skin needs a hydration. Even though you have oily skin, it's still important to moisturize. So I decided that I'm going to do the little um, foundation technique. So I just moisturize. So next thing I'm going to do is apply the airspun powder to my face. <laughs> so I'm literally just gonna take my Dirty Beauty Blender, dry, okay, and I'm just gonna, all over the face, yes, yeah.
take the Born This Way um, foundation in the color Chai by Too Faced. And I like to shake up my foundations before I just put them on. Just in case, you know, there's any separation. A dot there and a dot there. And that's literally enough and the rest go right there. Guys, I did way too much foundation. Like, I'm, I, 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 I don't like doing a lot of foundation. I didn't mean to, but that's okay. Cause um, I'm not gonna wear this makeup very long. So now I'm gonna go. Ew, that was creepy. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with this concealer I used earlier, and we're gonna highlight the under eyes with it. The Brunson palette, of course. It's the same routine. Take the Morphe 9A palette, my Dirty Morphe 9A palette, and I'm gonna go on with the color Taken, and just a little bit. Very contour, I said a little bit. Very contour. You're so dramatic. I continue um, blending. So now that that's blended out, I'm going to go in with the airspun powder once again, of course, to set and to um, uh, carve out the cheeks. Make sure everything's nice and sharp. Like that. Okay, and then whatever's left on here, I'm just gonna like blend out any creases or folds that it has already formed. And I'm just gonna blend this out again and then set with what's left over. Literally sitting here and doing my makeup is literally therapy. I don't understand. But if you do makeup, you understand. Just sit here and play some music. Oh my gosh. Makeup is my therapist. Now that that's all setting, I'm gonna let it sit. I must have forgot about these parentheses. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this palette you already knew. I'm gonna take this and a mix of that. to go in and darken the eyebrows oh, dirty compact you already know with this middle shade Dust off this um, this powder. The uh, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in the color uh, Golden Honey, not Honey Brown, Golden Honey. And I'm just gonna. I like to go back in with the brush because sometimes um, it kind of messes up the contour just a tap it. So I kind of just go back in and go back over it with what's left on the brush with this Ruby Kisses mineral powder in the color honey brown and I'm gonna set the face 
even though it's like literally almost gone, which means I need to buy a new one. I'm going to take this Milani uh, Blossom Time Rose Blush. It has some shimmer in it. And I'm going to shimmy up the face. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used to put on my blush and just. See, you can tell it has shimmer in it. I'm just going to add a little bit of a little shine. This Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Water Setting Spray stuff. I'm just. Oh, well, I kind of missed. And then I want to go ahead and highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to take the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy to do that because it gives me my favorite uh, look. So I'm just going to okay, take this in there. Of course, I'm gonna go in and highlight with my favorite highlight palette, which is the Wet n Wild um, Illuminating Palette, Mega Glow. And it has four different shades. It's kind of hard to see the other two. It's white and um, a light purple. So I'm just gonna mix them all together because it gives me my favorite look. back in with this brush that I used to um, put on the crease colors that I use and I'm gonna take those colors again just to help blend out that um, highlight shade back in with the uh, sweet peach palette and of course these two colors that I always use and I'm just gonna hold the brush like this and blend that out see look at that and then look at I don't know, it just looks cleaner to me. And also for the mascara, I did go in with the Maybelline New York, the Colossal Hydrofuge Mascara. I forgot to mention it in the beginning, but this is the mascara that I went in with. Line my lips with this little dull Gabriana, Ga Ga Gabriella pencil that I got from the hair store. Um, it's cheap, but it works for the lips. I used to do my eyebrows with it, but yeah, it doesn't, no. So I'm just gonna line my lips with this. in and use the uh, what do you call this? <laughs> concealer brain fart. I'm gonna go in with the concealer that I used on that I used throughout this whole video. And that's gonna be my uh, lipstick. Uh, yeah. I literally love this look so I just take a little bit and just and then you blend it out. Is it finger? Okay yeah. That's that's too much. The kiss give me wispies, they just in there. Once the lash root starts to turn blue, is when it's ready to be applied. Okay, so I feel like it's dry, so oh my god. I'm trying, so let's let's try. This is so hard. Okay. I cannot do this, okay. So I applied that better than I thought. So now we're just going to try to apply the other one. That was actually easy. So guys, I did cut these. So what I like to do is I like to apply the lashes at the end of my eye, as you can see. And then I blend the front lashes just to make it seem more natural. It's more natural to me. Okay, so the lashes are um, on. They look a little weird, but I'll blend my lashes with them in a second. So to finish off the looks, I'm going to go in with the Banlani, um Keep It Full and Nourishing Lip Plumber in the shade Soft Rose. I'm going to go in uh, with the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Angel Food Cake to add a little pink. I literally love 
love this look. That's why I said trust the process. So for um, the eyes, I'm gonna go with this mascara and just uh, blend my lashes and the false lashes together. I'm gonna add some white liner. So this is the final look. This is how the makeup came out. I love it. <laughs> That's why when doing your makeup, you trust the process. So um, thank you so much for watching. More videos coming soon. The break that I took was very much needed for my mental. Um, always take care of yourself. And I hope you guys are having a great start to 2021. See you in my next video. <laughs>